we got to win the big games. You know, Clark was probably our best win if you go back from last season, and they're going to be a great team again this year. You know, we were, we were leading at halftime versus Macon. We were leading at halftime versus Centralia. Uh, we got to make better adjustments and, and, and look to finish out those big games. Which begs the question, why not sell Shelby in a seemingly wide open Clarence Cannon Conference 2023 race? The Cardinals certainly don't lack for offensive weapons to dedicate to that cause, both by land and the return of 1,600-yard rusher Kendall Hammond, and by air with the return of the electrifying space eater Cameron Wiseman. I think just his ability to be so elusive after he catches the ball. You know, he runs great routes, everything's super crisp. Um, but his, his field vision is, is, is what makes him a top-notch player. Ever since I could walk, I think, uh, I've been in the backyard playing with my brother, so, so I just like to get out there and get the ball in my hands as fast as I can, make a move and make people miss and get out there and score. Yeah, sure. You, you know, we're going to move him around a lot. He'll be in the backfield some, he'll be at the slot some, he'll be wide out some. And that's one of those things teams are going to double him and man him up, and we just got to put him in positions to be successful. Which brings us to the biggest tipping point in the equation, who steps into the sizable shoes vacated by record-setting quarterback Trey Countryman and connects the dots. Gabe Bowen and Chase Molnar. You know, going to approach that, they've battled everything together. So they're in the same weightlifting group. They're in the same um, drill group. Uh, everything they're doing together, and they're doing some really great stuff. They're both kind of running quarterbacks opposed to Trey, who was more of like a deep ball and, you know, just get it out there and sling it. But, uh... I think I think Gabe and Chase are they're going to be they're going to be pretty good. They both can run it. They both can sling it. I think Chase can throw it like 50 to 60 yards. So we'll be all right. Durbin's going to stay out of wide out for us. He's doing some really good stuff out there. Just you have a 6-3 red zone threat. Let's we're going to keep him out there. And Offensive line play in front of the Cardinals' new starting quarterback should be among the best in the entire conference. Uh, anytime you return five guys that, that had varsity experience is, is a good thing and. Uh, um, you know, all, all five of those guys started at least three games for us last year, and anytime you have that, it, it's a good thing. Oh, absolutely. Much easier just because you can trust your running backs a little bit more, and you can just get down the field and absolutely hit somebody. They know how to get out there and pancake. We, uh, we like to feed them. Oh, heck yeah. You get more highlight reel that way. Defensively, the injury return of Ethan Dodd gives South the ability, in concert with Chance Rainey, to project as much edge pressure as anyone. Yeah, for sure. You put them on opposite sides and say pick, you know, and, and that's kind of what we're doing. And, and uh, uh, you know, Ethan's done everything he needed to do to get back for this year, and, and uh, he's going to have a great season. Ethan and Chance Rainey will probably take some heads off this year. It's just he's had all these years of experience with him, and me and him just got that good bond, and we just hang out every day, and we just talk about football, and that's probably what helps him with that. I think the goal for us is to just one game at a time and give it the best we got every single game and just do what we do and get out there and win the conference.